Greetings, greetings, my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Big up on yourself, my peeps. Boy, I tell you, what a way these West Indians all over the place turning the heat up. It was a fruitful day for most of our players in the UAE T20 League um, earlier today. A couple of them getting half centuries. Ravman Powell getting in the 90s. Uh, Karen Pollard getting a half century. Shemran Hitmeyer getting a half century. We're going to go through it, my peeps. We're going to go through the couple of games that were played today. And also, going to talk a little bit about that game between Manchester United and Arsenal. Ah, boy, I tell you, I tell you. Hit that subscribe button, my peeps, and make sure you leave a like. Um, like the video and leave a comment. All right, so let us get into the first game. It was the Mumbai Indian Emirates versus the Delhi Capitals. And we know the Delhi Capitals, that team is captained by uh, Ravman Powell and the Mumbai Indian Emirates, captained by uh, Kyron Pollard. I must say that one was a high-scoring game. The Delhi Capitals, they batted first and they were able to put together 222 for three. Yes, you are hearing me right. 222 for three. And um, the man of the match, Ravman Powell, he was able to get 97 of 41 deliveries. Yeah, man, 97 of 41. And he had uh, four fours and ten sixes. Yes, four fours and ten maximums under his belt. You know, so shout out to uh, Ravman Powell. Uh, Joe Root, the England... Uh, Batsman, he was able to get some runs also getting 82 from 54. So those were the two guys that did the damage for the Delhi Capitals. And in terms of the bowling for the Mumbai Indian Emirates, Kyron Pollard, he bowled four overs, picked up one wicket, but gave away 46. Um, he gave away for all of 46 runs. So, you know, um, Kyron Pollard went under it uh, in that game. So, you know, um, 222 for three. And giving chase, I must say, the Mumbai Indian Emirates, they really, really made a good effort of it, my viewers and subscribers. They ended up getting 206 for five. 206 for five, you know, um, falling short by what? 16 runs. And we had uh, the former West Indies captain, Kyron Pollard, getting some runs under his belt. Uh, Pollard, he was the top scorer with 86. Yeah, man, Pollard getting 86 from 38 deliveries with eight fours and six sixes. So shout out to Kyron Pollard. Um, Andre Fletcher, who got a half century in the preview in the last game, uh, was able to get 35. Uh, Nicholas Puran, he was removed for a duck, faced five deliveries and then was removed. So Kyron Pollard, top scoring with that 86 my viewers and subscribers. Zadran, as per usual, getting amongst the runs 30 from 9 deliveries. 30 from 9 deliveries, my viewers and subscribers, with 4 sixes and 1 4. You know, but um, it was a little bit too late for them. Ravman Powell for the Delhi Capitals bowled two overs. Giving away 20 runs, picked up one wicket, and um, you know he, he was able to see help to see his team across the line. So a uh, couple of uh, half century for our our players there, Paul Pollard with his 80 and and Ravman Powell with 97. So you know shout out to the two um, two Caribbean men for getting some runs in that game. Now the the other game we had a couple of West Indians. Also in action, that was, uh, let me see, Shemran Hetmeyer. He actually won the player of the match in his game, getting 70 of 35. So let me just go through that one quickly for you guys. Uh, Sheffield Rutherford also got some runs in that game. So uh, let me just pull this up here. So Hetmeyer's team, they actually were able to win the game by five wickets. So let me just see. Sheffield Rutherford for his team, he was able to pick up uh, 27. You know, that is all he got. Hales, Alex Hales, falling short of another century, getting 99 of uh, 57. 99 of 57, my viewers and subscribers. You would remember that in the previous, in the, in the game prior to this, he got a half century. You know, um, 
let me see if we had we didn't have any West Indian bowling uh, for hit Myers team in that game there so uh, let me see Sheffield Rutherford's team you know they got they got uh, 195 yeah man they got 195 chasing down uh, they got 195 and hit my team they were able to get 196 for five therefore winning that game there by five wickets so let me just pull up uh hit my score so hit my getting man of the match he was able to get 70 of 35 70 of 35 with five fours and uh five sixes in the mix there so you know, West Indians really, really, really doing something there. Shell and Cottrell bowling 3.3 overs, giving away 24 runs, picking up two wickets. So he, that is how it went for him there. So I tell my viewers and subscribers, even though these guys are, in, are not playing international cricket right now, they are still finding ways to entertain their fans. And as you know, their fans will always be behind them whether or not they are playing for West Indies. So shout out to all of those guys that were able to get some runs. All right, so uh, just before we go on to the next story, just remember, my peeps, this evening at 6 p.m., we are going live, 6 p.m. American time. We will be live to talk some cricket. Uh, just the other day, West Indies... Uh, board put out that that report that was done on the world cup so we're gonna probably spend majority of the time discussing that and just before i close off um boy manchester united manchester united my viewers and subscribers i'm so close but yet so far going down three two to arsenal and i must say well played to arsenal you know i am a manchester united fan but i am a football fan first and I appreciate good football. You understand? Um, United taking the lead early up with Marcus Rashford um, getting a goal there. And then the you know Arsenal was able to equalize. I think it was Enketia that equalized, if I'm not mistaken. And um, you know, then they were able to take the lead. And we were able to equalize with our our centre back. And then, you know, boy, I tell you, I think it was Nketiah that scored the, the, the winner there, giving them a victory of 3-2. But personally, I think that we, 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 we probably left it too late and we were banging on uh, outperforming them, well, outscoring them playing in a, a counter-attacking football. I don't know how many of you guys would have seen that game, but I, I, I personally was thinking that when Fred came on for Anthony, I think the change should have been Alianja Ganacho for Anthony. Anthony really, really had a bad game, my viewers and subscribers. Um, in the midfield, it was really, um, you know, Odegaard, Odegaard really ran the game. Uh, we didn't see much of Bruno Fernandes throughout the game. Christian Eriksen was a little bit quiet. And Scott McTonamy, as you know, he's no Casemiro. But um, I, I personally would have, I personally would have said, would say that, you know, Arsenal, they, they played the better ball game. They played the better ball game and they were able to come away victors in that one. You know, um, they, they, they are definitely looking like, like Premier League champions. They are looking like Premier League champions, but, you know, the season is, is still young, just halfway through. So we're going to continue to keep a close eye on things to see how they will go. Uh, Manchester City won also this morning, so... Uh, Manchester United once again being, be, you know, getting getting left behind in the pack. But I'm going to leave it right there. I gather that on the live show tonight, we are going to have quite a few Arsenal fans. So, you know, definitely can spend some time and talk about that one. So, big up on yourself, my peeps. I will touch base later on when we are live.